Hey everybody, this is uh, Crypto News Old School Stock Picker. Sorry about that. It is 7.50 p.m. Uh, December 6, 2021. I hope you're seeing the screen. Everybody's trying to ride the storm out. The market has been incredibly uh, uh, bad the last week. Lots of uh, coins have been in the red. And today you're seeing a little bit of green going back on. But uh, again, they're going to have highs and lows in the uh, crypto market. That's just the way they come. And that's why I always tell you, if you can't afford to lose everything you put into it, you shouldn't be buying any of these coins. Um, let me tell you why I like Gala today. Uh, so you got your, your, your 2.3, I think it's 2.36 trillion is the market cap. So lost 300 billion. So looking down Bitcoin, 50,000, uh, which is good. It was lower than that a couple of days ago, but you're seeing a few coins in the green, uh, Ethereum 4,300. So if you're scaling down on coinmarketcap.com, you're seeing some of it regain some of their uh, 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 the losses that it had incurred. But a loss only occurs as, as if you sell something, okay? And I definitely wouldn't be selling Gala coin right now. 48 cents. Again, the last 30 days, if we if someone was lucky enough, they could have bought it at seven cents. It's hot and it got as high as 83 cents. But I wanted to show you a few things. So this is what's kind of crazy. Gala is a great coin, a good company and a great coin that's going to be around forever. Some of the top gainers, look at some of the names of these. These are the these are the flyby nights, the one that you're going to lose your lose your butt on with your money. Prince Floki, Elon Floki, EU, Unvax Sperm. I don't know about you, but uh, yeah. And then you go over to the loser side, which is usually a couple of days later. Doges Among Us, Buffalo Swap Horn, Baby Loser Coin. What I'm trying to show you is Gala is a good coin. It's been on a steady rise, okay? This is Gala, the chart on Gala. And I wanted to show you some of the comparisons, just the charts of the competitors. So if you, uh, there's your uh, Gala chart right there. This, this is just their all time, okay? Your Axie Infinity. The reason I'm showing you this, if you look at some of the, the ups and downs that Axie Infinity experienced when they were uh, growing as a small, they were low as 15 cents, but there was times like up here where I'm at right there, it's like 82 bucks, okay? And it was in, in about three, four months later, it's down to 50 bucks, a significant decline, okay? Just think about the people who may have panicked. There's a lot of people out there, including the YouTubers, including myself, have you ever owned a coin, a stock where you just panicked because you still believed in it, but for some reason, the market and all the media and, and all the crud you're hearing scared you where you dumped it. Well, that's like a lot of these people did with Axie. And then they watched Axie shoot back up to almost 160 bucks a coin. Look at the same thing on uh, Sandbox. Sandbox, again, a lot of ups and downs as it's making its way. And Gala is continuously listed in Engine Coin. Look at that. So if you would have had Engine Coin, uh, three and a half bucks back in uh, April, okay, it got down as low as a dollar, okay? So not even, what is that? Uh, April 4 to, to two months, okay? Got down to 91 cents from 350. And then it's back up there, got, got back up over 450. So what I'm trying to show you is that the crypto market is extremely volatile. And for anybody who's new to this uh, uh, atmosphere of investing, you've got to be able to ride out the highs and lows. And like I was looking on uh, Google, a typical bear market, if people are telling you there's a bear market, here's the difference. A bear market is where everything's kind of going down. People are not really supposedly buying. I buy during the bear market because that's a great time. Bear market lasts about 9.6 months, right under 10 months. And for a typical bull market is about 973 days or just under three years. So a bear market, if you can ride it out short, usually the bull market will follow with a good three years versus maybe nine months going down. Now you haven't even we haven't even talked about, and I always bring this up, Amazon and Walmart haven't got into the crypto market as of yet. And when that does, that could easily turn this around big time. Uh, Open C. So one thing that I like about Gala, they're box collectibles for those of you just tuning in who probably got the drops on Miranda's today. 
on OpenSea where they sell the NFTs, Vox collect collectibles is uh, done by Gala Labs. And this, they're always ranked up in the top as far as with NFTs. So looks like uh, 14,000 Ethereum were traded on the Vox collectibles today. That's times 4,400, okay? That is unbelievable. And some of the highest price ones, I told you this, there's some of these guys, the Rancher, Rancher Vox, uh, 1,300 Ethereum coins times four times 4,400, okay? So the NFTs when you're buying in with uh, uh, Galas uh, under the box collectibles, great opportunity for you as an investor. Also, it's great for, um, it's great for, uh, um, Gala, because Gala gets, they have a set amount when they sell them on these NFTs, when they do a drop, they get a set amount, two, three million. But every time the NFTs are resold, they get like two and a half percent. And if I'm correct, I believe Gala had uh, one of their highest ones went for three million. And when that, when they did sell it, that if that was correct, what I read on Google, they're getting about 75,000. Every time an NFT, that's a box collectible, turns and sells, Gala is getting uh, two and a half percent, which adds about 11 or 12 million a year or uh, a month times 12. You're talking uh, uh, a significant 10 to 13 million a year. That's just adding to your bottom line. Uh, Open C, this is the one. So everybody who sells there, when they get their drops and they try to turn around and sell them. So the top collections over the last four, uh, seven days, Miranda's, up 22%. So they just had the drop, okay? And they're already up there. But if you look, if you look, those are in the top 15. So you got the Mirandas in there. And if you scroll down, I love this MFers. I don't know what the hell that is, but I like the name. Box Collectibles, there you are, number 16. And then I believe Townstar, number 21. So all of this is good for Gala which should make you feel more comfortable when you're owning a coin right now that's going down in price. Everything's going down in price right now. It's just the way it is right now. Once the market, uh, you got a lot of the big whale traders that are dumping right now and it's scaring the hell out of the regular investors, but these millionaires and billionaires, that's how they make their money. Uh, they scare everyone out. People get a little panicky and then they scoop up the coins that you and I liked when they were at these low prices and then they shoot back up. So Gala is Gala's amazing what's going on with them. I mean, everything, the Mirandas, the Into uh, the Galaverse, which is uh, going on December 11th to 13th. You're going to see a ton of stuff there. When I was listening to uh, Bitbender talk on one of his uh, uh one of his things, look at the Echoes of Empire. It looks like, looks like Star Wars. Amazing, amazing type of uh, things that are coming out with Gala. Now, here's what I, when I heard Bit Bender speak, he was saying when he's going to have this into the Gulliver's, there's a possibility that some of the people don't even know that there's 10 to 15 more games that aren't even well known that they're going to possibly talk about as into the Gulliver's. So, and that's within five to six days. So, um, a lot of big things. And you know, I like about it because Gala is basically the venture capitalist with the hundred million. They have the choice of taking in some game developer who has a fantastic game that couldn't get funding somewhere else. All they need is one, two, three, or four of these games to hit that. I mean, you've seen people at work, they're on Candy Crush or stuff like that. If you got to play to earn, Townstar has been doing good right now. They got more, uh, games that are going to be great play to earn games that is only going to make the price of gala uh, a coin go up and it's only at like 48 cents that's cheap all these other ones so they're going to be in vegas you know that's where the the big gala versus all the tickets uh, sold out um i'm expecting some big big news from there there it is uh, the most expensive uh, so gala games got about 1.3 million monthly active users 26,000 nfts sold to the date and the most expensive one was three million dollars so i wasn't telling you a, a fact and the other thing is uh it's a fact on that stuff gala games so they're going to be getting into the metaverse so being able to shift your characters uh, between the fantasy action, RPG, and farming simulators, allowing you to 
take your NFTs, put them in different games and earn money by rotating them out in different type of games. So they're going to do that, which is going to, it's, they're not even on the metaverse coins right now. So as if you looked at the top metaverse coins, they're not even in there that I've been able to locate or see unless I missed it. So there's a potential that isn't even being exposed yet. Um, top NFT coins by the market cap. So Axie is on top, Sandbox, Decentraland, Theta, Gala in there as number uh, five. And, you know, the, just unbelievable. The market cap or the volume, the market cap for Axie is about seven billion for this these NFTs, Gala is up about 4 billion. So Gala's holding its own against these giant companies. Uh, top play to earn coins by market cap. Again, Gala, number four in there behind Axie, Sandbox, Decentraland. So the top play to earn coins, they're always solidly in these type of charts. So people are gonna be buying into the crypto market after all this panic gives away. When you see Amazon and Walmart get back in and, and start uh, accepting cryptocurrency down the road, they're going to buy something that's going to be high on the number five of some of these charts. They know gaming, NFTs, play to earn coins are big, and Gala is going to be one of the cheapest coins that you'll be able to buy. Again, they're on there in the top game five coins. They're three behind Axie and Sandbox. They're ahead of Engine Coin and Alluvium on that for the top game coins, okay? Um, Top cryptocurrencies, I need to cover that one. Um, the the uh, Miranda, so when you go to the store, a ton of NFTs to buy, the things sell out quickly. Uh, they just did the drop on the Mirandas. The store, every time people buy stuff, they have to buy them with Gala coins. That's only gonna help um, the coin in the long run. They got an amazing Twitter site. They're on Facebook, they're on Instagram. Lots of pictures, posts, and this is important because you have a huge community following that's going to also help support a good quality company like Gala. Again, look at the charts. That's Gala right there, okay, at 48 cents. See the rise up? Yeah, it's made people panic when it's gone from 70, 80 cents back to 50 cents. But as I shown you before, Axie went through the same thing. They had moments where they were up at 80 bucks. They dropped as low as uh, 45, 50 bucks. They, and the people uh, panicked and sold out, sold out probably because Bitcoin was probably going down at the time or Ethereum. And then it shot back up to like 140, 160 a coin. So I'm trying to help the people out there who haven't been in the crypto market that you got to hold strong. You got to be patient. If it bear market does happen, the worst thing it looks like it's about nine months if it is. And who's to say that one of these games, if people are at home uh, playing, they're going to try to get an extra way to earn some income. If one of theirs hits, it's going to be like a gold mine where people are going to be uh, having new careers, play to earn games that they're playing on Gala. And I tell you, even a bear market, a coin like that will explode. Um, engine coin, same type, uh, lots of highs and lows. Got a size 350 and then uh, dropped like to a buck 50. You're experiencing the same things the people of the owners of engine coin have gone through the Axie Infinities, the Sandbox, where they've seen the highs and the lows, but all of these of the good coins in these all of these categories I was showing you tend to continue to rise up over the years if you're being patient. Nice article uh, back in November 18, top metaverse coins to buy on crypto.com. Gala got listed in there. Uh, I'm sure you know this. I put this uh, engine was in there. Um, sandbox. Decentraland and Axie Infinity. So every time we're talking about something about Gala, they're always in there with those, those other big monster coins, okay? And Gala's only selling at less than 50 cents. So we got to ride the storm out, got to be patient. Yeah, if, if my, the way I look at that, it, way, there's three ways to look at it. One, people panic and they sell too early and they take a loss, okay? Uh, there's nothing I can do about when people do that. They might be taking it for tax purposes. Other people might be panicking. There's another way to look at it. Buy and hold the good quality coins so that when they hit the games that are big and it shoots through the roof, you're a holder of that. Remember, uh, XC Infinity was at like 40 cents, even lower than that, and went to 160 bucks. So you got to ride the storm out. I appreciate everyone subscribing to the channel. Uh, I think I got 2,150. 
um, subscribers. Very grateful. I appreciate all you, all you guys and ladies out there from all over the country, too. I got them from the Philippines, Australia, the U.S., uh, guys and women. That's amazing. I am very thankful. Thank you very much. I'm still trying to get to 10,000. So uh, don't effing panic, okay? And there was the Bitcoin. Bitcoin, again, similar things when you had the up and down in the bear market, bull market, where things kind of crashed down. But again, people in the long run, by being patient, are, have made out big time by holding on, on, on the Bitcoin. Same thing if you see with the Ethereum. Ethereum was the same way. Things got dropping down. Look at, look at this little area right here where it dropped to... Uh, uh, 1800 from 4,000, it was at 4,000, it got down to right under 2,000. That's over 50% drop. You don't see people panicking right now. And the thing I wanted to show you too on the wallet investors, some of the top purchases that are being made, if you look in the top left hand of the screen, right over here, Ethereum. There's a lot of people buying Ethereum. So they're buying Ethereum based on Ethereum to go up in the future. These are the whales, the billionaires and the millionaires. Uh, remember I told you the top 1000 Ethereum wallets, the average wallet, I think is like 180 million. And then uh, you look at the top 10 holdings over here. So you got your Gala and you got your uh, Crowcoin, your crypto.com, two of the ones that I always talk about. Even your Shiba Inu's in there. I'm a Shiba Inu uh, owner. I think that and Dogecoin down the road are going to still have utility and value. But Gala has tremendous value. It's an amazing coin. Try not to panic when the S hits the fan and uh, keep calm. Let the S hit the fan and just be patient. And you need to do your best to just try to ride the storm out. And uh, I appreciate everybody. Everybody have a great night. This is a crypto news, old school stock picker out.